me like a Hellcat. What's up guys, Crystal Cove here, welcome to another one of my videos. Today, we are looking at my latest mock, which is uh, on Endor, which is um, Ambush on Endor. I said that really weirdly. And I actually have done, my first ever mock I've ever done was, I think it's called like Lego Star Wars Ambush on Endor mock. Now, this one, I just, I've titled it different because I don't want to have the same title, which I just wrote Rebel Ambush on Endor. But this is like a, it's been ages since I've done another mock. No, sorry. Since I first started doing mocks. It's been most, well, first started doing Lego Star Wars mocks. I actually did mocks before that. But they, they yeah, they were awful. Anyway, sorry if I sound awful. I've got a cold. Wait. Oh, all right. I got a cold and I feel like crap. I'm not going to lie. It d does not feel yeah, so, I feel awful, but, it's, yeah, but I'm still doing a video, because I want to get it out there, so I'll, I'll put a link in the description showing my original one, I mean, it's, I didn't talk in it, it was for like a contest, and because I got a bunch of views, I decided let's do it again, I didn't get tons, but for then I did get a lot, but yeah, so, that's how I started it, so I'll put a link in the description for that. It's kind of like a reminder. And yeah, let's get into this. So we'll talk about the scenery first and the figures and the story behind it. As you can see here, uh, it's just usual path. I used a uh, dark beige just because it's it goes well as a path. And you can see I used a weird, not weird, I used a right angle position for like, the path. I didn't want it going straight. I wanted it more diverse. And... Around it, you've got, this is a more greenery area. This is a more, like, muddy area. So we'll talk about this side first. So you can see there's a lot, <clears throat> sorry, there's a lot of cover here because, you know, that's why the rebels are here. But there's a lot of cover, cover here. And I put brown on the sides because people tend to walk around here. So, like, when they walk on the path, they might walk on the side bit. So, there wouldn't be really any grass. Yeah, and then you've got all the grass in the background here. You've got flower. Beautiful. Uh, some mud. You know, usual bunch of leaves. I used so many different types of leaves. Tons of different types. Did layers, so it was actually going up here. It goes down there. I always do that sort of thing. It's just, like, my type of thing. I like doing that. Uh, you can see different leaves just on these. Is that is, these are actually like tree stumps? I think no, not stumps. Like the bottom of the tree, I think therefore, or they're like rocky bits. But I'm pretty sure they're like part of a the tree. These are just like cut down and all that. Then here you've got like a weird archway. Yeah, this looks very man-made because it is. I'll, I'll explain in a minute. But it's man-made with nature. If you see what I mean. Yeah, so you got more leaves, you got leaves crawling up here, you got mud, I use tile pieces, I use tons of different pieces. Then you got this beautiful tree, which I use two shades, I use like, I'm saying normal green, I don't know what type of green. You got like a, 
Oh, how would you say it? Seaweed green. I'm saying seaweed green. I don't know the actual name for it. So I just did a bunch of these here. Looks nice. I only did one tree. I was going to do two, but I decided to just stick with one. And here, this is all dark brown because it's wet. And this is... Brr. Sorry. This is basically the Rebels drinking water. It's only like a small amount, but they've got enough to survive for like a day or so. Then they'll move out or something. I don't know. Uh, actually, it's more than a day, but I use both tile pieces and studs. Just make it look a bit more realistic. And you've got... I just put a random tile piece on here to make it more versatile. Then you got leaves all around here, you can see. Uh, back to this archway, I'm just going to quickly point this out. This is just um, as added, added cover for the rebels. I'll explain in a minute a bit more why. you got a fire here. These are just like sparks that have come off. They're very big sparks, but yeah. And then you got the rebels like... Uh, Boxes and crates and whatever, just full of guns and stuff. And now we talk about the story. Well, actually, first you've got a bit of greenery around here and the rest of the map. Anyway, now we talk about the story, which is basically this is a rebel camp. If you didn't gather, the, um, they just go around every few days and stuff. And funnily enough, a stormtrooper patrol, oh, whoops, patrol unit went past here and the rebels along with the Ewoks decided to ambush them. The Ewoks like were also around here but they could be further back. <laughs> yeah. Well their camp's quite close, whatever. And these two guys here, these are ca they they were captured before. And we're now really talking about the figures more just saying this is not a true story that I know of. I added Han, Luke, Chewbacca, Luke, Chewbacca, and Leia, because, yeah, but it's not supposed to be, you know, it's not based on anything true that I know of. Anyway, here you've got two beaten up guys, you can tell with their armour having been damaged, they're actually jet jetpack troopers, I just took them off and just made them look worn. This guy's got uh, cuffs on him, so he can't move, he's like, kind of really well right now he's going to be very scared slash annoyed because his this ewolf is clubbing this stormtrooper now this is kind of realistic in the sense that ewoks are very vicious but not realistic because the rebels wouldn't really stand it because like you know they're not they're not evil obviously because they're rebels are fighting for good though they they just shoot the stormtrooper honestly but yeah, basically this guy's on chains and he's been beaten up by this little cute furry mass murderer. And he's just watching in total agony and being traumatised. Then here you got one of the commanders who's just like resting by the fire. He's just lazy as hell. He's just like, you know, these two are supposed to guard the place. This guy's actually guarding it. And this guy's just relaxing. And then you got guy here. He's just firing at these uh, soldiers. Basically, what's happened is Ewoks and Chewbacca and whatever have just killed these guys in the trailing line. So he's being choked to death with that. This guy's got his neck snapped. Uh, I'll explain this in a minute. Uh, Han Solo just shot the scout trooper. This here, uh, I used uh, what well, I used white tack, it's blue tack basically, to do this because it's easier. And Luke Skywalker has cut him in half. Yep, he's just sliced him, and he's force pushed this guy. I use see through studs just because, you know, it's more realistic. He's been force pushed away. Rip. And then you got this Ewok who's just shooting these guys. This guy's like the only one who's actually, except for that guy, alive really, or hasn't been shot yet. And except for the prisoners, but yeah, you get the point. So he's legging it. Got these two. Basically, just as they turn the corner, they're like, ah, oh, hell no. Nah. These two guys just start pouring fire on them. They're dying. Got the Ewok up there on the tree, shooting them. There's actually a Lego set with an Ewok and a Scout Trooper on a speed bike, speeder bike, which I might try and do something similar to that in one of my mocks. Obviously, I'll make the tree different and stuff like that. But yeah, that, something like that happened. Anyway, um, 
we got dead guy here. Finally, I've added blood. It's been ages since I've had blood in my uh, mocks. I don't know why. Just forgot, really. Which is very sad because blood's my favourite bit. I have actually. I will check it. Have no. I'll have a look and tell you next week. Um, when was the last time I did a video of a mock with blood or like yeah, Lego blood. Anyway, I, you see here, death troopers. Oh, not death troopers. Shadow troopers have legging it, but this guy's got shot. He's just realised that Princess Leia's there, and he's like lit because he's just trying to stop. But obviously, he's gonna die. So. Rest in peace, Shadow Trooper. Sh yeah, it is Shadow Trooper. Anyway, that is my mock. I hope you guys did enjoy this. This was actually a cool one to make. I'd say it's one of my top, like, three or four mocks. What I might do, once I get to 50 mocks, which I'm almost, I think I'm on, this might be, like, my 46th. But when I do 50 mocks, get on to 50 mocks, sorry. I'll say my top five mocks. And if that does well, I might do maybe my top fifth, like, top mocks like my favorite to least favorite of my own mocks um as in all of them if that makes sense i don't know if i said that correctly but yeah anyway hope you guys enjoyed oh sorry that's in bad quality please like and subscribe if you did and i'll see you guys in the next video peace